My name is Ann Swanson, and I've served for almost two decades as the executive director of the Chesapeake Bay Commission, which is a tri-state legislative authority made up of House and Senate members from three states, Maryland, Pennsylvania, and Virginia. The Heartland Coalition is an extraordinary contribution to not only the scientific landscape of the Upper Susquehanna, but also the policymaking landscape. And, and here's why. The more scientists get together and the more community leaders get together and share information and translate that information into more simplistic terms that then policymakers can translate, the better chances you have of having that knowledge be integrated into mainstream government. And so for these people of this diversity to get together, you've got six universities, you've got business leaders, you've got community leaders, you, even have, you have municipal authorities, to begin trying to develop a coalition aptly named Heartland, over time the politicians like the ones I work for in the House and Senate of Pennsylvania, they can't help but notice. And when there are collections of people doing something and caring about something, politicians have to notice. So the contribution here can be extraordinary. Now why is it so important? 50% of all the fresh water delivered to the Chesapeake Bay comes from Pennsylvania. The Pe Chesapeake Bay's magic, its productivity, lies in its mix of fresh and salt water. So without that fresh water, you don't have the bay's productivity, you don't have its magic, its crabs, its oysters, its fin fish. It needs fresh water. But what it needs is clean fresh water. And so one of the things that this Heartland Coalition is doing is really focusing on that water quality, focusing on the nitrogen and sediment loads, but also on the toxic loads because they affect the river's ability to assimilate nutrients. That's what this is doing. And really, at the end of the day, the Bay's health is defined by the health of its tributaries. And there is no bigger river than the Susquehanna in defining the Bay's health.